Coming to you live from Lagos, Nigeria, it's Moment Z and the show for African millennials. The topic for the day is peer pressure. What exactly influences teenagers of this generation? What values are there to hold on to anymore? Our guests are rapper Fresh right, L. I don't smoke or drink. Mm-hmm. And obviously I've come across people who have made me like try to. Try yeah, to. Yeah, okay. I'm just like, I'm not doing it. Actress Sharon Eziamaka. Personally, I have never experienced that because yeah. I think it's because I started acting really young. So I kind of grew up around a lot of adults and I've just never felt the need to be like everyone else. Actress Dorcas Shola Fabson. Yeah, I don't drink, but on my birthday, one of my birthdays, I was drunk. Mm. And the reason was peer pressure. It all starts now. Welcome back to Moment C and today on the show we have Fresh L, a musical artist who calls his genre of music house. He has sang Mrs. Officer, FaceTime and Kafan. And we also have Sharon Asia Maka, who is a 24-year-old actress that has been acting since she was five. Mm-hmm. She starred in Dear Mother, she starred in The Johnsons and is best known for her role in MTV Sugar. <laughs> wow! <laughs> That's like a like dictionary. She- yeah, I, <laughs> I, I was just having a conversation with someone today about how I can't even lie about my age anymore. Because, yeah. like, everybody, everybody knows <laughs> how old I am. Like, I've never lied about my age, but it's like, how old is Sharon? Oh, she's 24. 24. You've just been smiling since you got on set. Like, you I just, know. Are you just like a happy, happy person? Are yeah, you I just smile like... when I'm around girls, man. Oh, oh okay. okay. I was just having a conversation with someone today about how I can't even lie about my age anymore. Because, yeah. like, everybody, everybody knows how old I am. Like, I've never lied about my age, but it's like, how old is Sharon? Oh, she's 24. 24. You've just been smiling since you got on set. Like, you I just, know. Are you just, like, a happy, happy person? Are yeah, you I just, smile like... when I'm around girls, man. Oh, oh okay. okay. Yeah. the nicest smile well, thank you guys thank so much for joining us yes. mm-hmm. thank you for having us and yes. we're actually talking about peer pressure yeah and she was oh. talking about how she wants to get married oh my god amanda where do you get this thing are you ready no, 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 i'm just talking about like the pressure that like is on young people as it were you yeah. know to take that step and a lot of people end up making wrong decisions mm-hmm. as a result that's what i'm saying mm, oh yeah true. there is that pressure i mean when uh, my grandma Whenever I speak to her, she's like, so when am I going to meet my in-laws? Uh-huh. <laughs> well, it's like my mom knows. I told my mom, it's like, give me at least seven years. Abby, seven years from, from now? From now. Yeah. Oh, like, I'm, I'm with you. It's like, give I'm me at you, least man. seven years. <laughs> 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 Before we can have that conversation. Yeah. But what about pressures to do, like, stuff, bad stuff? And um, I mean, I, personally, I have never experienced that because yeah. I think it's because I started acting really young. So I kind of grew up around a lot of adults and I've just never felt the need to be like everyone else. Oh. But I know people who like are constantly looking for how to like um, impress someone yeah. and seeking approval. Yeah. And I mean, it makes people do a lot of crazy things. Mm-hmm. Why are you smiling? What have you done? I've never had to like, I've always been the one that people are trying to impress. Oh, oh no, wait, no, no, wait. Nice. I'm not saying that to sound like <laughs> But it's just the truth. Like, people just feel the need to, like, be nice to me or try to do what they think I would want them to do, but I don't care for it. I'm, like, the simplest, most boring person you'd ever meet. So it's <laughs> like, I don't even, like, but it's, I mean, a lot of young people just constantly do things because they want to fit in yes. or they want to be like everyone else. But it's like, why? Mm-hmm. One thing that we all have in common is that we're all different. So mm-hmm. trying to change that to be like someone else just. I mean, it just seems yeah. crazy. It's mm. weird that you get that, but a lot of people really don't. Yeah. They don't. They don't. What do you think about that? You miss think, my yeah, I think it makes no sense, like, because I don't smoke or drink. Mm-hmm. And obviously, I've come across people who have made me, like, try to. Try yeah, to. and I'm okay. just like, I'm not doing it, man. Yeah. You just have to just put your foot down sometimes. Especially when... some very strong people in the house. I know. Especially when it's something that's actually going to, like, kill you in code. you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not adding anything positive to your life. So, so like, you never you tried drugs, nah. never tried pills, nothing? Nah, at all, man. That's, I think it's just, really it's just cool. it's all about fresh, like. knowing who you are. <laughs> you have to remain fresh. Yeah, it's so kind you, of like about knowing who you are and what you want. Yeah. When you know, okay, this is the person that I am, this is what I want, what I want to do, then someone telling you to do this or that just doesn't make any so difference So is it like as a result of low self-esteem? I think so. In a lot of ways, I think so. Because I think when you're not insecure, when you're 
when you're comfortable in your own skin, mm -hmm. comfortable yeah. with the person that you are, you don't, you won't feel the need to do what other people are doing, mm -hmm. or you won't like fall for the, oh, you have to do that to be cool, or if you don't do that, you're not cool. It's yeah. like, yeah, uh, I'm fine. I'm not cool, but I'm good. Yeah. It's like yeah. I like who okay, I am. Okay, so. I actually like what everybody's saying, but I, I want to talk like a typical, <laughs> not strong yeah. youth. Yeah, and uh, I remember a time when I was also in uni and. Blackberry was the in thing. Yes. And everybody that had it was the cool, was part of the cool gang. Yeah. And there, there I was using one stupid, sorry, I can't even <laughs> mention the brand. <laughs> but it's stupid. <laughs> so I was using one regular phone with no camera or anything. And some, one guy that I've been crushing on for a very long time started talking <laughs> to me. Smiling like You're smiling like, like <laughs> And he started talking to me finally. You know this guy that, this kind of, Thing that you're like always having eye pressure. contact. Yeah. No, you're always having eye contact in class, but you don't talk. Yeah. That was it. And then he finally came to talk to me, and then he asked me for my pin, and I was oh. like, I don't, I don't use BB. <laughs> and he was like, Oh, oh, okay. Um, I did not talk to you again. He didn't talk to and me again. Yeah. 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 I'm not pointing. You dodged the bullets. Exactly. You dodged the bullets. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Yeah. But at that point in time, I, I won't lie. I felt, felt bad. bad. I did yeah. feel bad. And then the next semester, guess what? I had a job for like he just came out, I was wise and I'm like mm. the, yeah. come to talk know, to the annoying again. thing, he actually came to ask me for my pay. Did you see like, didn't give it to him? Get no. lost. Thank you. But I know looking back at it, I shouldn't have even felt bad about yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. First, but it's just normal. But the thing is you're human. Exactly. You're allowed to fail. But the thing is, it's like I have this is thing. I think I can't remember who I heard it from. It's like fake it until you make it. Mm. It's yeah, like it's I don't have a Blackberry, like I don't want one. Uh, just to make yourself yeah. it's like, it's like yeah. tell yourself what you need to tell yourself to be the best part of yourself. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. like I mean it's normal that you'd feel bad, but then it's like you just get over it. Yeah. But then the problem becomes a problem when you feel bad and then you try to do things that you shouldn't do just so you can get, get a Blackberry. Yeah. And yeah. that's when it's a problem. Yeah, but I feel like the whole peer pressure thing, like, it's one thing to say, like, oh, yeah, choose your friends wisely because, like, bad friends will lead you to bad things. I feel like if we saw it that way, mm -hmm. many people would not, you know, fall for peer pressure. Yeah. But were you ever, like, pressurized into doing something and you knew you were being pressured and you gave in yeah of course no never never you've never, never given in to peer pressure you know i don't believe never, that you're just this good i don't know it's not even so like i'm strong. good yeah, but it's I very just, possible like I, I there are people who have never given in. i'll just never like compromise myself like under no circumstances so even okay, when what about the issue of black having a girlfriend no that like, babies always like me. Oh, no, no, no on his no, yeah. Jesus, <laughs> Jesus. This boy is proud. No, but like, not even about anything, yeah. I've always just known what I wanted. Mm. And like, even like before I started doing music or anything, I was just always the cool guy and the fresh guy, and everyone just liked me. I was just always I nice. I actually get that. So you are the one so, pressurizing people? Not really, to be honest, because <laughs> I was always telling them the right and wrong things to do. Uh, ah, yeah. can't yeah. Shout out to my parents, man. You know. <laughs> yeah. it's, all, it's all about your upbringing and everything. Yeah, I think so. I think your environment definitely has like a very strong... And the kind of relationship you have with your family, I think definitely, it helps. Because like, I had like, my mom is my best friend. I yeah. tell her everything, like things you wouldn't tell your parents. Like I tell my mom every yeah. single thing. So it kind of just helped me. Like it's when I need advice about anything, about boys, about life, about being a grown up, whatever. I just always go to my mom. Mm -hmm. Instead of going to someone who is my own age mm -hmm. and then they give me exactly. some kind of crap exactly. advice that sure. I, so it's, yeah, I feel like having a good relationship with your family kind of helps. Anyway, we're still on the conversation, guys. Don't go anywhere. After the break, we have another sugar actress joining us. Stay tuned. Parents as well like um, that have been prepared for they want to like force it on their kids and make sure the kids have like the best and everything which is obviously you want the kids to have the best but like in a competitive like manner yes it's mm. true Welcome back, guys. Still on the topic peer pressure, we have Dorcas Shola Fapsin in the building. Oh, hi! Yes. <laughs> so you've been hearing all that we've been saying so far. So, yes. what is your take on peer pressure? First of all, this guy's a liar. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen him in a club drinking alcohol. So oh, really? Yeah. 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 Like, he's never, if you lie, yeah. I, stopped, I stopped drinking in February. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So. But oh. to say that you've never drunk, yeah, but no, I never smoked. Never smoked. Never smoked. Well, Is that true? I think we're like, 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 verifying like, everything you say now. Yeah, that's true. He said he's never smoked. He never smoked. Never ever. Fresh. Do you know where all liars go? I swear. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just telling you, for your own, <laughs> for your your own benefit. Yeah. But do you think he was pressured into doing all those things or it was just him as a um, person? I think everybody has a choice, so. Yeah. yeah. It was, yeah. Everybody has choice. a choice. Yeah. Is it that easy? Yeah. Like, everybody has a choice. Yeah, definitely. I've, I've um, been peer pressured, but it, at the end of the day, it was my choice to do 
whatever I was yeah. pressured into. Can you give us an example? You're just vague. You're just yeah, I don't drink, but on my birthday, one of my birthdays, I was drunk. Mm. And the reason was peer pressure because my friends were like, oh, it's your birthday, have a drink, have one, have two, have five, have nine. The next thing, I didn't know what I was doing and I ended up being drunk. Wow. But I don't drink. But that was an example of me being pressured into something I wouldn't normally do. Yeah. So yeah, I've, it's, I've definitely been peer pressured. But I mean, at the end of the day, it was my choice to, I mean, nobody actually physically forced, forced. to drink inside my throat. It was yeah. my choice to actually drink it. So. Apart from peer pressure, now you have social media pressure. pressure. Yes. Do you think it's a thing? Definitely. Yes. Of course. Definitely. How, how, how? I mean, I think... We were lucky that when we were like growing up, when yeah. we were like 13 and 14, social media wasn't like in our yeah. faces yeah. Yeah. like now. Because I actually feel bad for these kids because yeah. I'm like, they, they have everything. everything Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, everything. Yeah. And like they pick girls. up habits from yeah. everywhere. And yeah. I, I mean, I, I feel like social media is amazing, but then. And nothing's real. You have to remember, it's, it's not real. The like, bad all part these people is, that look great on yeah. Instagram, you see them in real life. I'm like, I just can't. <laughs> like they I see this people you know? and then they feel like, oh, this is how life should be. This is what yeah. I should be doing. Mm -hmm. And then they're doing things that you totally should not be doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's like, mm -hmm. I mean, but, I think it's easier said than done because if I look through your Instagram page, I'm like, wow. Wow. So I didn't say life. that, no, finally. I know. <laughs> oh, that was no, I'm just saying. Painful. I like your honesty. I appreciate that. I mean, I'm going to hurt, but it's okay. <laughs> but I'm, I'm actually not saying that. Don't get me wrong. I'm just saying that someone will look at you and feel like, oh, she's having the time, the time of, of her, her life. life. And oh, they want God. to be like you and they want to have your shoes and wear the, the stuff you're wearing and do the hair you're doing. And they don't have the money to do that. But I think the problem, the mistake people it's make true. is that they forget that there's a journey to get to yes, that point like, I like she didn't just wake up one day and sister was here. <laughs> 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 like she works for it so yeah. when you're looking at all these pictures that like you need to remember have you seen my throwback pictures oh, oh, <laughs> oh, oh my god i'm like oh no 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 yeah. you know be like someone like you have to walk to that point like there are stages in life and mm -hmm. every stage is important parents as well like um that have been prayer pressure they want to like force it on their kids and make sure the kids have like the best of everything which is obviously you want your kids to have the best but like in a competitive like manner yes it's true yeah. like, like she's I, going I to this that, school so you have to go so to you yeah. Do yeah. It. yes oh, that's true she has this bag you must have 10 of these bags like, mm -hmm. so, yeah so it's very so bad. fine it doesn't even end with us like it also affects Sometimes, our children yeah, for sure, yeah. No, definitely I think there is a thin line between being motivated and being pressured. Yeah. yeah. You see a lot of people like, so how can I tell the difference when I see someone and I'm motivated to be that kind of person or I'm being pressured to want to be a certain person? Yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, like you what feels right for you. Like, if it doesn't feel, if it feels like you're stepping too out of your comfort zone, yeah, then man. your subconscious, you will know that this exactly. thing uh, is not right for me. Yeah. You can't do what's right for him, her, and him because it's not going to be right for you. It has to be right for you. So, example, like you guys were saying, I can't remember who was saying about people are influencing you to go to church. Mm. Mm. If you felt right going, then go. If people are influencing you to jump off a bridge, because it looks fun, yeah, you know. Yeah. You know that oh, I shouldn't be doing this. Exactly. That doesn't mean you should go. And, you know. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for coming. It's been Thank a pleasure, you. and I've just been scooping yeah, you. Look so fun. good. Yeah, you so know, fun. she's so, so pretty. And then my age. I said my age. Oh, like twenty-four year old. I was like, wow. Okay. Thank you so much, Sharon, for being an inspiration to all the young people out there, and for being so strong too. Try my best. And then thank you to the. Bad good guy in the building. Yeah. Yeah. Daddy of the house. I'm, just, just, I'm so inspired by all your smiling. Like you're such a happy, happy. He's guy. a happy That's child. Really happy. Okay, so we have to go now, but the conversation doesn't end here. We have Prisca on the street with Street Vibe. Okay, so when you hang out with friends, what do you consider as easy influences from them? Like my friends have boyfriends, and they put on clothes, shoes, and sometimes. I do feel like getting one too, but I don't have. So my friends do tell me that I should hang up with that guy so that I can get something like that too. No. Have you ever been peer pressured? Uh, I have. Yes. Yep. Yes. Okay. So when you hang out with friends, what do you consider as easy influences from them? Like my friends have boyfriends and they put on clothes, shoes, and sometimes. I do feel like getting one too, but I don't have. So my friends do tell me that I should hang up with that guy so that I can get something like that too. Well, I'm not this social person, so when I'm around them, I just have to be so that I don't, don't be like, 
I'm this guy, boring guy, or stuff like that. What they talk about and what they put on, like maybe in terms of shoes, clothes, and the accessories. Yeah. So you always tend to get influenced by such things. Yeah, that's if I really like it. Like money, clubbing, and party. So why do you do those things? Why do you think you easily get into them? To feel among. I move with friends that like they like to bet a lot. So I don't usually engage in it. But due to the fact that these guys do it a lot and they get a lot of money as a young boy now, I want to, want to struggle and get money. So I I just I just I venture in it. But I got knocked out. So I don't since then I don't usually do it again. And now it's time for us to summarize what we learned today. <laughs> so what did you learn? Know who you are. That's pretty much That's it. So much. Know who you are. If not, you would look to other people to tell you who you are. And in the end, you might not end up being who you actually are. I'm, yeah. I know I'm saying you are, you are, you, you are, are, but it is that <laughs> so important. We get, we get it. <laughs> yeah, for me, I actually feel like even though it's really going to be hard not to be pressured or not to give in, you can do it because yeah. we actually had people that are on, uh, in the limelight on the show today and they're saying like, oh, we did it. Mm -hmm. So. Who are you not to do it? Yeah, you have exactly. no excuse. And I was like, that is really cool to it's know that inspiring. you can, it's, it's really inspiring. I yeah. think that's the summary. I think for me, I just learned like, no matter how much you want to be strong and like know who you are, like at the end of the day, you are very affected and influenced by the people you surround yourself with. Because then you're just like, even very subconsciously influenced by the things that you see them do and you know, hear them say as and like just small, small things that you don't even feel like the need to warn yourself against. Those are like things that can just get you like proper, proper. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, so I surround do. yourself with the right people for me. That's okay. what I learned today. So thank you guys for watching. It has been such a fun show and I'm sure you had fun too. You can join the conversation on our social media page. Just don't forget to hashtag Moment Z. And don't forget, everyone, everyone deserves, deserves a moment, so, so go get you. yours. <laughs> the furniture for Moments Z is provided by DO2 Design Limited.